What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and it's a really hot day out here <laughs> this morning. I'm out here with the Baying Toys Typhoon, the X16. Now this is their first crack at a brushless quadcopter and it's on the classic Baying Toys protocol. And so for that reason, uh, I'm going to test it with this transmitter, which is the stock transmitter here. And I also have the Devo out here. So I already have uh, settings and stuff programmed in the Devo. I have flips programmed. I have headless mode uh, on the previous Baying Toys uh, was the X. I can't remember which one it was, <laughs> but uh, it's the X9. I'm sorry. The Baying Toys X9, the first original version that uh, they came out with uh, was different. Then the second version, I have the second version that's on this Baying Toys protocol and it actually has headless mode and it has one key return, but the one key return is unique in that it actually spins the aircraft around. Like if you're facing a different way, it spins the aircraft around so that the uh, heading, the front of the aircraft is facing the heading where the heading lock was and the rear of the aircraft is facing towards you so it was uh, pretty unique in that it helped you regain orientation in two ways it always would make the it would spin to let the rear of the aircraft face you the pilot and uh, even if you yaw apply yaw it would and when you let go it would uh, uh, spin back around and reorientate itself just so that the rear of the craft would face you and so I thought that was pretty awesome. So we're definitely going to try that out. I have that uh, channel programmed in my Devo 10. And we're going to, I doubt if this will do it, but we're going to check it anyway. Check that channel and see does it do anything. And we're going to check the headless mode as well on the Devo 10. But first, let's get into it on here. The headless mode here is this button. Let me lay this down so you guys can see. The headless mode is this button here. Um, on this transmitter and this is the one key return this button in the center there the flip button is up here on the left shoulder and um, I'm sorry this is the rates button this switches from high and low rates only two rates on this and this here is supposed to be a flip button it actually flips the Baying Toys X9 that I have but I tested it and it didn't seem to flip this thing so we're definitely going to see if it flips with the Devo and we might even try a manual flip <laughs> but let's get into this now and check it out plug it up it does have this banana plug that the Sima X8 has really starting to wonder if Sima actually uh, owns Baying Toys or something a lot of similarities in their products but let's get this thing this the ESC's in this X16 actually makes noise even if you don't have the on and off switch on. So I'm going to switch it on here. Turn the transmitter on. We got a fresh set of batteries in here. Well, not all the way fresh, but it's enough power to uh, do this. What we're trying to do now. I have rechargeables in here. So let's fire it up. So. Right off hand, you can see this thing is pretty quiet, pretty stable. Let's see if we can get a stable hover here. That's hovering there, it's drifting, no GPS, so it's gonna drift forward or backwards or whatever. So let's check out the yaw rate. We're on low rates now. <laughs> Super slow yaw on low rates. You can see it's drifting away a little. This is your pitch, low rates. And this battery is fully charged. This is your aileron. So, very docile. And let's try the flip button. The flips do nothing. The flip button doesn't do anything. We're in high rates now. Let's check out the aileron in high. So not much, but it's a lot better than it was before, not docile. 
Let's look at the yaw. The yaw is even better. Let's look at the forward pitch. About the same as the aileron. The transmitter doesn't feel the transmitter doesn't feel bad, but of course not as good a proportion as a Devo or professional hobby grade stick. So let's try a throttle punch. Wow. <laughs> so this thing is a rocket. It shoots up in the air. Let's try it again. It's a little bouncy on the landing, so I'm just going to hover here and do it. Some nice power in this thing. Let's check out the headless mode. It's in headless mode now. You can hear it beeping and it is working. Going right, going left. Flying y'all the whole time. So headless mode is working. Okay, let's get it out of headless mode. How do you get it out of headless mode? Okay, you press it again and it's out of headless mode. And the beeping stops to let you know you're out of headless mode. Let's see a funnel. This is the best funnel you can get with this thing. The yaw rate really isn't that great. Pitch isn't really that great either. But the Devo 10, well, deviation is known to really uh, increase the rates on the Bang Toys protocol. So I'm anxious to see what it's going to fly like with the Devo. Let's try the one key return. And put it back here. And it's flying backwards. So it just flies backwards. Let's see if we aim it this way. Does it spin around? Is it still trying to do? Oh no, that's the wind blowing that way. Let's see. One key return. So it doesn't spin the craft around. It just flies backwards down the heading. And the wind's blowing to my right pretty strong now. So that's why I was flying that way. So now let's land this thing. It says on the box, uh, 360 diversion, which usually means flips, but the flip button doesn't work. I guess they must have thought, of, thought about it again and <laughs> decided not to let it do that. And so, let's unplug this thing and check it out with the Devo. Now the lighting on here, I'm, I didn't get a chance to fly this at night yet, but I'm guessing the lighting is going to be nice at night. And simply because you can see them from the top and the bottom, there's a large um, panel there, LED lens panel on the bottom. It has four large ones. And then on the top, it also has these little uh, sections here that are clear, transparent, so light can show through there. So it should uh, be a very nice night flyer. And let's check it out. The rates on uh, deviation. Okay, so if you plug in the battery while the power is on, it gives an extra sound, an extra chirp. Step back real quick. Get this transmitter to the side there. And let's fire up the Devo 10. It says it's bound. Let's see. Oh, I didn't set up anything to start or stop the motors. So it might be a channel on here to start and stop the motors. I'm not sure what it will be. Maybe I have to program that. It's looking like that's what I'm gonna, oh, there it is. It's the same startup procedure, both sticks to the lower outside corners. Now let's take it up. Okay, now my rates are all the way up. So let's check out its yaw rate. Doesn't look like it really increases the yaw. Let's check aileron. Oh, the aileron is increased though, greatly. Wow. So the aileron, it does increase aileron and pitch as well. So the Devo 10 does make this thing a lot more sporty. And we're back again. I had ran out of space on my phone. <laughs> ran out of internal memory, so we're back in effect again we're flying it with the Devo 10 now it increases the pitch 
drastically. You can see this thing is very sporty now. It doesn't do much for the yaw though, but the pitch definitely. Now let's, I'm gonna try my flip channel and see if this thing will flip. No flip, so no flips. Let's try uh, headless mode. I'll put it in headless mode. The headless mode is working. As you can see. So headless works. Let's try the one key return. One key return works. Trying to fly backwards, down the head. Okay, so the Devo 10 does dramatically uh, increase the pitch on this and the aileron and the proportion is better on the sticks wow pretty nice so check out its funnels now pretty decent funnels now it's the speed touch. wow it's fast too <laughs> Wow. Man, this thing this is a speed demon. <laughs> so it dramatically increases the pitch and yaw. I mean, not the yaw, well, the pitch and aileron, which allows this thing to really turn into a rocket with deviation. You can see there. I guess I'm gonna fly it around until LVC so we can get an idea of how long it'll fly. I said I was gonna try a manual flip. <laughs> With all this pitch, I guess I can try it. I'll try it here just in case it falls. <laughs> Try manual flip. Let me get some height. Oh yeah, it does it. <laughs> Did it quite nice too. <laughs> Messed that one up, but you got to keep in mind that the the props don't stop spinning on this when you cut the throttle, so. But it does flip though. But that's pretty awesome that it still flips. I advise getting some height though. <laughs> I don't know about with the stock transmitter if it'll be that easy because the uh, pitch isn't that deep on the, um, the stock transmitter. So I don't know how it would. Um, how fast it would flip backwards doing a manual flip like that when you trick the accelerometer by cutting the uh, throttle. Man, this thing is a nice flyer though. Especially with the Devo 10. Or uh, with deviation. And I'm waiting for uh, the lights to start blinking because the LVC on this is indicated by blinking of the lights. Nice funnel. Nice banking. This thing flies nice. 
guess I'm gonna probably do some kind of mod uh, for landing gear because I don't really like those uh, pods there, the legs. It gets a little bouncy, especially if you're not gonna be using a camera with this. Uh, I would definitely do a mod to the landing gear. When you remove them, it's actually not gonna sit flush because the motor pods, the bottom of the motor pods don't reach down farther than the bottom of the uh, canopy there. And it has something going on there. It looks like the same connection as the Sima, the new Sima X5HC, I think it is. The, uh, with the contraption that slides the camera on. That's what it looks like this is. Looks like the same connection and all. Actually, Full Metal Heli did uh, verify that it has the same exact camera. When you get the camera version, it's the same exact uh, camera as the Sima X8C. So, let me check the LVC. Still no blinking on the lights. I've been flying it pretty hard, doing funnels and uh, high speed passes. So I would say battery life is pretty good. We can get the lights to start blinking fast. Get the lights to start blinking faster, and it looks like the lights are blinking now. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're gonna bring it down. I don't want it to uh, fall out of the sky, <laughs> and I don't want it to fall from this height either because these landing feet are really bouncy. So I'm gonna try my best to land it and cut throttle. I'll. I guess I'll program a throttle cut on this Devo 10 so I could fly it with the Devo and cut throttle a little faster, but it didn't seem to be too bad with the landing there. So that's the Baying Toys X16 Typhoon. Pretty awesome little flyer here. A little larger than the DGRC X1, it seems. Thanks for watching.